Hello there and welcome to Monday. Um, my God, I, uh, it has been a, an exciting, busy, busy time for me. I have traveled the world. I have been to wondrous places such as Glasgow and Cardiff and somewhere called Hay on Wye, which is in the most inaccessible spot on the earth. No matter where you're coming from, you have to drive for six weeks to get there. It's some, it says, the English say it's English, but the Welsh say it's Welsh. And I, I see, I'm in love with the Welsh, so I'm going with the Welsh, I'm sorry. But wherever you're coming from, even if you live in the next village, it will take you a day and a half to get there. And then when you arrive, you see, it's a big literary festival for those of you who don't know. Then when you arrive, there is nowhere to stay. And I've been there a good few times in the past. And sometimes you have to sleep in, um, in a cow barn. And other times you have to sleep in a chicken coop. And other times you have to go in to like Mrs. Eccentric's um, spare room. And the thing is, you can't complain because if you go, oh my God, there's no bed in my bedroom. They go, a bed, a bed is it you want? Well, Barack Obama was here last night and there wasn't a peep of complaint out of him. And you think, oh grand, okay. It's grand, no, I'm grand. I'm, gra I'm grand with the feathers. The feathers, the, the hen feathers are fine. It's fine, it's fine, no, no, no. Who do I think I am? Oh God, me and my notions. So um, yeah, so it's been a busy, 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 busy time. And I have to apologize to the people in Glasgow and Cardiff and the forthcoming Liverpool event. This, they are in big, big places, big theater places. And when this was put to me, um, you know, months ago, would I do the things at the big theater places? I said, well, no, because I won't be able to sign for everyone. And that's not fair for the people who come. And they go, but if you do it in the big places, it means that more people can come. And I thought about it and I thought, I'm not sure, but we'll try it. But the people who came in, in Glasgow and Cardiff, I'm so sorry, you didn't know that there wasn't going to be a signing. And I feel like a heel. I am so sorry for disappointing you. And I'm very, very cross that you weren't told or that I let myself be codded into agreeing to this. And just in future, you know, I just be doing the smaller places because it's not fair. You know, and also you were so nice to me in both places. And in Glasgow, you brought me many, 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 many local delicacies, such as the Tonnock's Tay Cakes with the dark chocolate, which people didn't even know existed. Um, so that was lovely, uh, the Tonnock's and, and all the sweets generally. And then in Cardiff, I got given Welsh cakes. And then I didn't meet lovely Vicky Jones, who has a stethoscope for me because of me being qualified nearly as a doctor. Um, so what else can I tell you? Ah, uh, there were loads of things. I'm still, I'm still buoyed up by the referendum win. And I, all I want to do is read about winning and, and, and how great it is and how nice the yes side were and how mean we weren't to people. Ah, uh, what else? I'm in trouble. I am in the paper today for saying that, uh, the P.G. Woodhouse Prize for Comic Fiction is sexist um, because that I have never been shortlisted or even considered, as far as I know, in the 18 years of the prize. But whenever I kind of say something and then it gets reported and I always go kind of, <gasps> I shouldn't have said it and I should apologise and I should roll, roll back on what I said and all. And then I think, no, no feck it. My books are funny. Say what you like about them. And plenty of people do. They are funny. They make people laugh. And... Uh, and why am not I considered? Anyway, uh, another thing is, um, soon I will be finished of my touring and then I will start having to stop um, having giant bowls of pretty pigs for my breakfast and eating properly. And that, that would be sad. But, um, but I'll deal with it when it happens. And now I have to show you a book. It is called The Terrible. And it is by, now I don't know really how to pronounce it. Is it Irsa? Daily Ward. She is a young woman and she had a book of poetry out before. This is a memoir about her upbringing as, you know, from probably, you know, one of the rare black families in white. Was it Yorkshire that they were brought up in? The northwest of England, that's not Yorkshire. Um, and it's, she writes, it's very poetic. And it's incredibly moving and powerful and evocative. And, you know, she writes about depression and loneliness and, and 
and feeling ugly and then suddenly discovered discovering that you're beautiful and the power that that gives you over people and um i'm not finished it yet but i'm i it's really gripping and it's so beautifully written and there were times like i had to read it three or four times just because the feelings it you know she writes about alienation very well um i would recommend it highly 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 and uh and also she has written a book of poetry which came out before this. Now, I'm not a person who tends to read poetry, but I might read hers because it's visceral. It describes feelings and I like things that describe feelings. Now, I am going back to ERA, to, uh, 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 where the women will be free soon, um, in, on Wednesday. And then on Zaharda, I'm going away on a cruise um, with himself and himself's old woman. And we are going to a river the Danube, the Danube, yes, the Danube, and uh, but I, I am recommencing my scribing now, and I will not be lifting my head from the scribingness for to see, what's that place in Hungary? Budapest. Budapest. No, no, no. I am, I am under house arrest, in my mind, for the rest of the year till I write my book, um, so there will be no more hijinks for Marion until she has delivered her book. The, she uh, has had far too many hijinks already this year. No hijinks for Marion. Um, so uh, I hope you're well. Thank you for coming to all the yokes, um, to the standard issue in London. That was that was really lovely. And to Waterstones on Tuesday. And thank you to the people who brought me presents, to the, the lovely knobs. Where are my lovely knobs gone? I don't know. Thank you for the lovely knobs and for bringing your husband and your brother. That was so nice. Was your name Kate? I think it was, um, but my head is, is full of cotton wool and, and cod's wallop. Um, thank you to all of you for being so, so lovely to me. And for those of you who have bought the break, the, some of the figures are in this morning and um, a lot of you have bought it and I'm really grateful. I hope you have a lovely week um, and uh, I, will, I will try and talk to you from the boat, um, all depending on Wi-Fi, but we will try our best. We've done similar, similar in the past. Um, you are lovely. Adios. Goodbye. Hang on. What's what's German? We see. I'll be passing Auf Germany. Auf Wiedersehen. I will be passing to lots of Germany. Bye.